Is that it? This is all? No, I wanted to showcase the features. Like, guys, guys, chill. I posted my Wi-Fi Pineapple Pager unboxing and setup yesterday. And everybody was like, where are the features, guys? I'm like, chill. Uh, but, you know, I listen. And I literally said in the video I wanted to do daily videos on it. Um, I do not think I can do daily videos any other time I would. It's just I'm going to, out of the country. I'm not going to have service for like a week. So I have to have videos ready to post. So we'll, we'll see when they get out there. I'll just have to work really hard. We're leaving today. So it, it got here at a hard time. But today we are going over the Wi-Fi Pineapple Pager Recon. Okay. Now, Recon is pretty interesting. It's where you're going to observe everything, the airspace around you, and I know I just got these devices. I'll tell you, I went through, I sat down, read all the docs, watched all the videos, and you know, I'm kind of a pro at it now, so uh, I guess I'm like men to follow, so let me show you how to use Recon. I like the black one more, so this is what I'm probably going to be demonstrating on. This one's just good for the title, because people like seeing the yellow one, but there definitely is some things going on with these devices. And it's pretty insane when you first get into it. So they are very fun just to start. You know what? Let me get my uh, stands. Okay, is this a little more festive for you guys? Now that we're in the pineapple season, I figured this looks a little better. Okay, so let's go over the Wi-Fi pineapple pager recon. Now, I'm going to be doing this on the physical pager, not the virtual pager, because I'll show how that works like next video or something. And I also do just like holding the gadget itself. Man, I look like I have a mini Hack 5 studio right here. <laughs> these things are so sick. I swear I was out last night doing some recon. And these little buttons are just so amazing. They glow so well. I thought it was an odd placement where they put the LEDs. But it, it actually ends up working a little. So we're just going to direct. And this is the D-pad. So this is how you're going to move around. And... You guys know I ain't reading the script or anything like that. It all comes from my moolah, wait, <laughs> my brain. Okay, so this is going to be like our select button. This is going to be our back button. Those of you just starting out. And he's going to start singing us some jingle bells. No, I swear. So what is this pleasant sound going into my ears, okay? Well, this is going to be <laughs> recon. So we have recon audio. And we could just turn that off and exit. We could turn it on, and we could choose different ones. Mine's on tones, so it doesn't sound ugly. Like Geiger. Oh my gosh, listen to this. Yeah, it just sounds like something's breaking. Not gonna lie. I'm not I'm not really a Geiger fan. I know Darren liked that one. I, do, I don't know why. <laughs> I mean, there's a few different ones. I ain't going through all these. I'll leave that up to you. I'll just say, I really like tones. So there's going to be a few things here. So this is going to be our... Here, you know what? I'm actually just turning this off. <laughs> this is going to be our packets per second. So right now, we're at 11,000 pack packets. Our average is 17. So there's a lot you could do with this. Right now, you're monitoring the airspace. And if you set it up, like I'm monitoring 2G, 5G, 6G, and Bluetooth. And like I said, this is going to give us that visualization of what's happening. So obviously, our average is 23 packets, but if somebody starts de and I could show this, then you're really going to have a problem. So you could check if somebody's de by going into alerts, de flood, no de flood. So it sounds like we need to start a de flood, okay. And I am doing this in a controlled environment, and I gave myself permission. So on our black pager, we're going to leave... And, well, we're actually not. We're going to go scroll to the right. And this is where they hit it, okay? You go to the right, new devices per second, new APs, new clients. If you go to the right again, it's going to show you a list of Wi-Fi networks. Okay, and, yeah, mine is in there. So I'm going to have to blur this, which is super annoying, because I really would have just liked not. Here, real quick. Okay, so I don't even know where these are. So, Starbucks, I set it up, so Starbucks is my actual pager. It does that on boot. But let's go to Narnia 101. No idea what that is. 
I'm, but this is my own Wi-Fi network in a tested environment. So now we can see who's connected to it. This one says it has nobody connected to it. And from there we could go to connected clients. We can see who's connected and it'll give us a list. And we could deauth those people individually, send a targeted payload to them. Or we could come back out here to the whole Wi-Fi network in general, get some stats on it, WPA2. And then we could do a targeted payload. We could add a SSID to filters, or we could pull, or we could deauth all clients. Like I said, not a real Wi-Fi network, so we're just going to deauth all clients, blah, blah, blah. Yes, I want to. And then you would see in recon all the packets jumping. So I do love how this is set up, and we do, you are killing me. Just kill me. So you can scroll through the pages, or you can hit back to get out of here. And, I mean, there are some more settings. You could do background audio. So, like, we have our beeping, and then when we leave, if there's stuff happening, it'll continue to beep. So, on here, for example, it's beeping, we leave, no beep. And now, if you need to hear what's going on to help you, it's running in the background. So, we also have a radio settings. You can turn on 6 gigahertz. Uh, I would, because you do want to be monitoring that, so 2.4 or 5 gigahertz and 6 gigahertz. And then we could, this is where it gets interesting, we could save a PCAP, or we could go into wiggle mode, okay. Now, wiggle mode is interesting. Hack5 sold a GPS attachment, uh, either an attachment and a lower attachment. If you got the GPS one, you're going to want to go into wiggle mode, and this is going to be war driving, essentially. Because Wiggle is a huge area where everybody uploads their files. So that's going to turn it into Wiggle type stuff. Files. So you could turn that on. Uh, I just realized I do not have a GPS module. And then you could also do Keep Screen Awake. So basically, it'll just stay on like this at your desk. I will say Hack 5 really discourages this. I mean, this can increase device temperature. Do not leave vent holes blocked. Do not leave unattended. All that stuff. But that is recon for today. Got some more stuff to go over, like Pine AP, alerts, and payloads. I'll say payload sounds very interesting, so we'll get to that when we get to that. I'm going to try to learn some more so I can make a very educated video showing you guys that. But I mean, let's get back to the video. Now, if you're going to go ahead and pick one of these up, I mean, it's a perfect time. I think they ship pretty quick. It's not like a month like I thought it would be. But that is really it for this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. You could just say, great video, Ilya. Or, I'm glad you got your pagers. Okay. <laughs> like, we know another video is coming, so chill. That's it for this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. And uh, run it back, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.